why are people still on this superficial wave where they believe that if they can name it then they can claim it or if they blab it they can grab it no life does not work like that anything you want in life you got to work for it that's how you create a life that you love to my channel intentional living strategist to me and Dawkins here and if you've never seen this face before I want to welcome you and let you know on my channel you'll find all things connected to intentional living and I want to invite you to go ahead and subscribe so that you know exactly when I put out new videos and don't forget to hit the little bell listen we're gonna have a real chat on my channel today you know I really have been in this mindset where I become super agitated by the mindset that says that I don't have to work for what I have, but it should just manifest in front of me. Where did that come from? I think that that is absolutely erroneous and absolutely superficial. Life does not work like that. And I know it might sound like I'm fussing you out on my channel, but maybe you need to be fussed out because of the fact that you don't realize that you have to put the work in so that you can get the manifestation of what you want in your life. And so in today's video, I'll be able to show you how you can create a vision board that absolutely works. And so I'm not just talking about any kind of old school vision board. We are going into 2020. We don't have time for that. But I want to teach you how to create a digital vision board so that you don't have to worry about going to the store, buying some glue, but you go ahead and hop right on your computer and get the job done. Now, I have a couple of key things that I want to explain before we jump right into the tutorial of how you can create your own digital vision board. It is super important that you make sure that you're intentional when you go ahead and you create your board because it is going to be your pathway to reaching success this year. Do you hear me? It's going to be your pathway to reaching success if you do it and you do it intentionally. So first, I want you to go ahead and create a list of goals. Now, you should really have already done this because I'm telling you that the new year is upcoming. We got to be ready to win. And so if you haven't, don't feel super bad. Just get on it right away. Sit down, maybe like in a meditation mode and really begin to just think about the goals that you want to reach. Now you can do short-term goals or long-term goals. In my opinion, I think that you should do both. And so what that would look like is you literally just getting a piece of paper or maybe uh, putting this on a note-taking app and you would literally place your goals for maybe the next month uh, to three months and then you can go as far out as six months. Those are your short-term goals. Then you want to begin to write out your long-term goals, which would be about a year to maybe two years and then all the way out to five years. And you do this so that you have a pathway to be able to look at, especially when you might get lost on your journey. So it's important for you to have the yellow brick road in front of you. Then you can begin to scale out all the way to maybe about five years there about. Now, obviously, there will be certain things that might come up in your life that are unexpected and all you have to do is change things around. It's okay, you don't have to get stuck. This is the way that life works. And though there are certain things that do come up in our lives, it's good that we at least try to have some kind of plan just in case things pan out and there are no interruptions for your goals. One thing that I've learned as an intentional living strategist is the importance of making sure that I am setting a timeline for my goals. In order for you to make sure that you're intentionally living and reaching your goals, it's important that you make sure that you give yourself deadlines. When do you want to be finished reaching this particular goal? Because I believe internally you get to a place where you're almost like racing on the inside to get whatever it is that you want to get done because you want to be able to prove to yourself that you can do it. So I want you to set a timeline for your goals and absolutely make sure that you set up some deadlines so that you can get everything done that you're dreaming of getting done this year. So step four would just be simply creating your board. Now the systems that we're going to go ahead and use is one of my faves and that is Canva. We're going to create our digital vision board inside of the Canva system. But aside from that, we're also going to tap into the wonderful world of Pinterest because I believe on Pinterest, you'll have the opportunity to really be able to search 
different beautiful pictures or different you know affirmations or words that you can go ahead and plug into your board now one thing that I forgot to mention is that you can go ahead and write down the goals that you have inside of your planner now I love planners though you can have online planners I love an actual planner because in times when maybe you can't get to your phone at least you have a hard copy uh, notebook planner so I'll make sure that I leave a link down in the description box to this particular planner and some other ones that you can find on my Amazon influencer shop. Last but not least, before we jump into the tutorial, I want you to focus on making sure that each time you reach a goal, whether it's short term or long term, you celebrate like a crazy person. Because by you doing this, you'll be able to consistently motivate yourself. You don't want to be that person in life that needs consistent validation by other people. The moment that you realize that you reach a goal that you have set out, whether it's big or small, the party that pops off on the inside of you is absolutely amazing. So no matter what it is that you win at, no matter what it is that you scale at, if it is on this digital vision board that you're getting ready to create, I want you to celebrate like a crazy person. Now, I don't know what your budget is but if you can go buy a pair of shoes or maybe you can go out with some of your girlfriends or maybe you can just dance in the living room with your husband you need to make a big deal about it because any level of progress in your life is definitely worth celebrating let me know in the comments down below maybe one of the goals that you're looking to scale maybe you want to spend some more time with your family or finally launch the business that you really have had stuck in your head for years Maybe you want to attend church more. Whatever it is, let me know in the comments down below. All right, let's go ahead and jump right in. All right, so we're actually inside of the Canva app. We want to, once you log into your account, click on templates. And then what I did was, so that I have a foundation and a base, I went ahead and I simply just typed in vision boards, okay? And so what ended up coming up were different templates like this one and so what i was basically looking for was a template that had different cutouts of photos so that we at least have a base um and so you can just scroll through these pick any one that you want and i think that there might be a feature that would allow for you to go ahead and customize the different squares that you want for your board so really you're just pulling from a photo collage um, and then filling in what you want for your particular vision board now I don't know how big or small you want your vision board to be but we're gonna go ahead and use this particular one um, and like I said you can do whatever you want to do in terms of resizing it here's the resize tab here just so you know what you're looking for um, and then you can pick any of these different sizes um, so that you can make your vision board the way you want and so for example I went ahead and I hit that I want it to be eight and a half, eight, eight by 10. So that would say that I can just go ahead and print this on my local printer. Despite the fact that I already have a foundation here in the middle, we can still add different photos to the top and the bottom, or either you can even add different words that you want um, on the top or the bottom. That theme might have to do with maybe a word an anchor word that you're connecting your upcoming year to or maybe a particular color or motto whatever floats your boat is what you can do now for me i made sure in my original vision board that i stuck to my color scheme because my colors are my connected to my brand so it was important that i kept those colors in the forefront that was my preference um and then what i did was i kind of centered my board around my particular anchor word for this upcoming year so um what that does is it just basically helps you to be centered around your primary goal um which is what an anchor word is an anchor word is something that you build whatever your goals or your dreams are around that particular word all right so one thing that i mentioned that i like about canva and then i'll switch over to pinterest to show you what you can do on that side but let's start with this side since we're already over here is that they have a photos feature now what that simply means is that you have access to stock photos for free some of them are paid but a lot of the nice ones um, that they have are free i really don't see the difference um, in terms of the paid and the free which is great um, 
And so, for instance, here are some photos that um, say 2020 year. So, you know, it's possible that you can go ahead and just grab one. Now, um, so let's say, for instance, we want to have Happy New Year up there to let you know that you're going into a new year. And you can begin to type in words like freedom, right? And then you'll get different pictures that show that living in freedom every day. But in this case, this one is paid. But let's say you really like it. You can go ahead and add that as well. And then once you click on this particular picture, you can actually move the bar down so that you can really see what it is that you're working with. Now, in this case, obviously, I don't have a theme. I'm just pulling from different pictures that I really like to go on my vision board. Um, and if you're more systematic or you're, you're more of the type of person that likes clean lines, then you can go ahead and just choose particular colors. But in this case, for the sake of the video, um, just pull in pictures that are more or less inspirational. So for instance, let's say your goal as a mom is to make sure that your house is clean, right? So you would type in clean house and then you can go ahead and drag and drop okay so you can put that in that circle there and maybe if you see another one that inspires you like this living room picture you can go ahead and drag and drop isn't it super easy it's super easy now let's say you are working on your business right you can go ahead and type in business and then look for some pictures that really begin to speak to you. Ooh, this is a good one. <laughs> this is a money shot. All right. And then you're good to go. All right. So you just kind of just keep doing that so that um, you can fill in what you want. This one is supposed to be inspirational. It speaks to you. It says that you're happy. Now, you might not want a, an absolute stranger on your vision board here right you might want to pick some of your pictures so I'll go ahead and give you an example like let's say you have pictures that you want to put on your vision board then like in my case I've uploaded several different pictures for several different projects so here's a picture of me and my family so for instance see, you can open it and then drag and drop it in this case I would probably just put it here see so they give you options to have a base obviously of what they have but then you also have the option to kind of stick it in and honestly like I really don't see any difference between this one and the old school one where you need glue and poster board and all that stuff it's just a lot it's just really a lot so you would just continue to um, type in the different words that you want now one thing that I mentioned um, that I want to mention about starting with a clean base is that you don't have to worry about the foundation that they put in there um, in terms of like the pre-made photo collages because what you'll run into sometimes is that when you go to drag and drop it it automatically um, will pull towards the space or the outline here that's already plugged in there so if I were you if you're if you want to, to really make sure that your board is your vision board is custom made then um, you can just start with a blank slate and then go ahead and fill in your pictures now let's say you want to do some um, healthy eating then you just type in healthy eating and you just resize it and plug it in whatever your heart desires and also um, add different text as you can see here to your vision board as well okay so let's say you didn't want to put that picture right and let's say there was a particular quote that you wanted to add it in add in here okay you can put this year will be my best year yet. okay and then you can take this out it just kind of came with it and then leave that space which is that and then you can go ahead and um change let's say you have brand colors in my case i do and then you know in place right, and you're good to go you can change the fonts on it and all that stuff like that 
um, I would just go ahead and make this maybe like a brain color so that it pops. Make this bigger, open this one up. Yeah, so this is super simple. Once you're done with this, you can go ahead and put um, my 2020 or whatever the year is vision board and then go ahead and save it and then in canva you can download this to your actual computer or either um you can actually get it printed from canva i love canva right um you can also pin it to your pinterest board you can do whatever your heart desires like literally um in canva absolutely love canva now let's go ahead and hop right over to pinterest now this is my pinterest page um and i absolutely love it i have several different boards on here now what i think would be a good idea is to create the your vision board on the canva app but you can also go inside of pinterest and then possibly just grab different pictures that inspire you so let's say women um quotes type that in there life um tried to crush her but only succeeded in creating a diamond now that's awesome so that you, you would just save this image it'll download to your desktop or either in my opinion you can create a folder on your desktop um, and put pictures for my vision board and then you'll know that you have that particular folder where you can grab it but so that's my particular photo all right so then once you you downloaded whatever pictures you want from pinterest after you save this to your board um in this case i'll save it to intentional motivation now once you create your pinterest account then you can have a board obviously that says my vision board if i were you i would keep it secret um and if you don't mind then you don't have to there's so many people in the world with pinterest boards and they put like their personal goals that they want for their house and stuff and they don't realize that people just have to type in their name and they can see like everything so just a word for the for you to just make sure that if you want it secret you make sure that you put that board to secret okay so all right we saved that one quote we're gonna go over here and upload it from the desktop because i just saved it and here it is all right so it's going to upload over here on this side we're going to click on it i think i clicked more than one resize it and add it to our board okay um let's add this here and then what we could do is we can reposition this one move that one forward maybe even move it down a tad so that we can see this okay all right so that is that all right so this will be i think it would be cute just to add 2020 in here all right so this is how you do an online digital vision board and like i mentioned you can print it out and then put it in a cute frame um do whatever you want you can even add like different borders to this as well let me just do it because it just looks you can type in line and then add a frame to it even though you're going to print it and it's going to go in a frame you know women like we just we just want the details sometimes you can even take this line that i grabbed let me get it together and outline the different things on the board see so that's it oh that's starting to look pretty jazzy see and then you can uh, and then duplicate that you know just play with it a little bit pull that down pull this up see that makes it just look a little bit more jazzy right and so on and so forth whatever makes your heart happy and then you can go ahead and just print this um and then you're good to go but i want to see what it is that you end up coming up with once you create your online vision board so i want you to do me a favor and go ahead and follow me on instagram at lady tamia dawkins or on my other page which is tamia dawkins enterprises and you can use the hashtag intentional lady living 
If you want to, you can also go ahead and in the comments down below, leave your Instagram name and I'll be sure to follow you and leave a comment. I'm super excited about what you're going to create in this upcoming year, what it is that you're going to manifest because of the fact that you're doing the work. I'll talk to you guys soon. See you in the next video. Ciao.